الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Communication by Professor Mahmoud Hani Sulaim Purpose of Health Communication To inform, to educate, to motivate, to persuade, to counsel, to raise morale, to make community involved. So, purpose of health communication are to inform most of the people don't know that they don't know to inform people about causation prevention of disease and what the people can do to educate about healthful lifestyle and environment to motivate motivation which comprises stages of awareness interest evaluation and decision persuasion as to influence people with your words counseling which is to help people understand and face their problems better to raise morale of people health organization that is to say to achieve community involvement and inter intersectoral coordination Information education and communication IEC is an important approach to bring about changes changes in knowledge attitude and behavior of people for betterment of their health and the health of family community in which they live information what is information this consists of providing scientific knowledge to people about health problems and how to prevent them and promote maintain good health it is the right of people to know the facts about health and disease information brings about awareness in people it is successful when people feel that the unfelt needs become their felt needs and the felt needs become their demand so changing unfelt needs to felt needs then changing it to demand education it consists of conducting or motivating people to change their lifestyle or behavior for betterment of their health communication it is a complex process in which a sender gives message through various channels media a sender gives message through media to a receiver in turn it gets feedback to know effect of the process this is the communication process begins with a sender gives a message through channels to a receiver the receiver gives his feedback to the sender so he can correct or make it his better message sender is the communicator or originator of the message and should know the audience the mess and the message to be given the methods or channels to communicate these messages effective communication depends on efficiency of communicator message is the technical know-how of information being communicated to audience they should understand accept and act upon the audience should understand accept and act upon the message message should be this is important clear understandable interesting meaningful related to objective specific precise and acceptable by audience message should be clear understandable interesting meaningful related to objective specific precise and acceptable by audience media 
It is channel which bridges up between sender and receiver. There are three systems of media. Three systems of media. Interpersonal communication, mass media, traditional or folk media. Three systems of media. Interpersonal communication, mass media, traditional or folk media. Interpersonal communication, face-to-face -face communication. This is very effective. Mass media, TV, radio, printed media, etc. Advantage, large number of people reach it in short time. Disadvantage, not very effective in bringing about changes. Three, traditional or folk media, folk dance, songs, drama, etc. These types are close to cultural values and so they are very effective. Audience. Receiver may be single person or group of people. If audience is a homogeneous group and have a common interest, it is called controlled audience, homogeneous group. Otherwise, it is called uncontrolled audience. Feedback. It is the reverse flow of information or remarks made by audience about the message to the sender. Reverse the flow of information or remarks. So the sender can make modifications and improve communication to make it more effective and acceptable by the audience. Steps in IEC Planning, Implementation and Evaluation of IEC Planning of IEC activities. This consists of the following situational analysis underlying philosophy identification of target groups establishment of objectives situational analysis that is to say studying existing national policies and organizational structure for modifications or the improvement of any understanding underlying philosophy e.g. use of condoms in preventing AIDS, identification of target groups as only men or only women, or couples or youth or parents or teachers, whatever the groups are, establishment of objectives, goals, and targets. Preparatory activities of IEC consist of the following. Developing linkage with other existing organizations as Rotary, Lions, Club, Education Department, etc. Arranging support activities like advocacy, counseling, and getting materials and money. Conducting effective training to prepare resources, knowing needs to target groups. Designing messages for target groups as posters, matter of TV, radio, and so on. Choosing appropriate media or channel for cost effectiveness. Preparing appropriate IEC material. Implementation of IEC activities. Planning ways to ensure that the materials reach target audience. Monitoring, regular checking of programmed activities. This helps to get feedback for improvement. Evaluation consists of analyzing information periodically about impact of program to know effectiveness. Types of communication. One-way communication, also called didactic message, didactic method, message flows in only one direction. The demerits are no participation from audience, no feedback, Information is imposed, learning is passive, less likely to influence the human behavior. Two-way communication called Socratic method. In this type, both communicator and audience take part. Audience may ask questions and they may give their own suggestions. Thus, communication becomes active and effective and democratic. This method is more likely to influence human behavior. Verbal communication is giving information by talk and not by showing written printed matter. 
it is more persuasive. Non-verbal communication messages communicated not by talk but by body movements, posture, facial expressions. Often this is also effective. Visual communication by charts, posters, pictures, graphs, tables, maps, answer. Telecommunication and internet. This is done by using electromagnetic instruments. Communication is done over distance. Example, radio, TV, internet, etc. Telephone, telex, and telegraph are known as point-to-point -point communication. Launching of satellites is an advanced technology in telecommunication system. Now, it, this slide is for you to check your communication skills. Check your communication skills. It is about eye contact, body language, speech, repeat, answering. So, how frequently do you make eye contact? How good is your body language? Is your speech slow, loud, and clear enough for everybody to understand? Do you repeat important lines? Do you answer the questions of people? This slide is for you to check your skills. Barriers of communication. Often there will be certain barriers between educator and the audience, which will interfere with the communication. These barriers are Physiological, psychological, environmental, and cultural. Physiological, psychological, environmental, and cultural. Physiological, difficulties in hearing or expression. Psychological, emotional disturbance, neurosis, low level of intelligence, language difficulties. Environmental, noise, overcrowding, invisibility. Cultural, illiteracy, customs, beliefs, religion, attitude, poverty, cultural difficulties between rural and area. To make communication successful, these barriers identified and removed. I thank you for your good listening.